Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a spicy pizza production. I'm your host Mitch Chill. We're back with some more sepia tears and uh, when we last left off we were walking home and then we catch a glimpse of a little sister. Rin? Oh, hey Mark. So, I'm guessing it didn't go well? He couldn't make it. Had to meet up with a friend from out of town. He, hmm? Guess she isn't afraid to admit it now. Well, that's not so bad. At least you didn't get rejected. I I told you it wasn't a date. We were just going to go to the arcade. Really? So then what was the fuss about? Well, you know. Boys are scary. I know I should be trying to help her, but... Oh, come on, that's just too cute. There are some guys who would fall for you instantly if they heard you say a thing like that. But those aren't the scary ones. Of course, of course. Well, what can I say? You're growing up. You should be proud. Growing up is less fun than I expected. Oh, Rin! Ready for the disappointment of adulthood! I don't know why I keep, like, making facial expressions. I just, it's like, instinctual, I guess, at this point. Tell me about it. <clears throat> say, I got an idea. Please don't set me up with one of your friends. <laughs> oh, come on. Lucas would love a girl like... I can't even say that with a straight face. I don't think that'd be a very good idea. Hey, are you implying something? Way to go, self. Self five. All right. Uh, anyways, I was trying to say that we should go somewhere. Huh? Where? I don't know, anywhere. Let's go to a mall. Treat you to a Sunday or something. I'm not so two-dimensional as to be satisfied with something as simple as a dessert, you know. <laughs> Liar. You're drooling from thinking about it. Well, it's not my fault if Sundays are sweet and creamy and delicious. Uh-huh. So, what are we gonna do on our date, Oni-chan? You... Can you please not call this a day? People will get the wrong idea. But you promised me a Sunday. Isn't that a complete non sequitur? Or isn't that a complete non sequitur? Uh, anyway, why don't you decide what to do? I'll do whatever you ask for today. Hmm, I like the sound of that. But aren't you just pushing the decision on me because you have no idea what to do on a normal date? Wow. That, uh... You know, I think that mostly, I, I think that's why guys pushing on the girls, because we're like... I don't know. I don't know what you... Like, for a first date, I don't know what you... Like, unless we're going to sit here and talk about everything you like, and then I make a perfect date. I'm, I don't know. Let's do whatever you want. Let's go catch a movie. Candlelight dinner. Romantic walk on the beach. The hell? I don't know. I'm a guy. I don't know this shit. That's kind of mean, even for you. Don't worry. I'll think of something fun. Leave it to me. I'm gonna get myself killed. Oh. Uh, this is tiring. Do you really have such little stamina? Even 12-year-olds can handle this. It's easier said than done. I've never done it before, so... No! 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 Why would you put a reference like that? With Lillian, I would understand. That'd be funny. I mean, this is so kind of funny. That is my sister, man. You some messed up people. You're just... Yeah, I... No, yeah, let's just... Uh, I get so worked up, I just unplugged my headphones. I swear I am gonna lose my voice by the end of all this. <clears throat> all you have to do is put your body into it. Don't let them get away. B but they're too fast. Score, 15 out of 50. 
Was it like Dance Dance Revolution? You've got to be kidding me. What can I say? Whack-a-mole is harder than it looks. There we go. Ugh. I still can't recover from that. I'm like... The last little bit of innocence in my head just shattered. If I had any innocence to start with. I know. And the UFO catcher was even harder. She played about ten times to get one item before realizing that it was more or less a waste of time. I wonder what Lucas would say if he saw you lose to a game like this. Actually, he'd probably sympathize. He can't play air hockey properly. I guess you better, you're better at things that don't involve standing up. I'm better at things that run on a steady frame rate. Real life doesn't run on a steady frame rate. Anyways, you're not going to let yourself get defeated by whack-a-mole, are you? Come on, try it again. I'm saying this knowing full well that I'm paying. But she's, sound, but she's bound to get physically tired after a few rounds, right? Alright, I'm going for it. What? She spots the mole as soon as it appears and she swings at it. And misses. Her hand-eye coordinate... Uh, her, I don't know. I don't know. I can see them, but this stupid thing is too heavy. You do know what it's that it's meant for kids, right? Yeah, crazy weightlifting kids who eat raw eggs and run around during recess. As opposed to level grinding your Pokemon so that you can beat the last boss with a red. Oh, my bad. That was Mark saying that. We'll just pretend Mark has a girl voice for a while. It was in the top percentage of Rattata. Swing! And I miss. See, by the time you recover from the recoil of one swing, the next mole is already about to disappear. I know that, I can see them too. It just takes so long to move this thing across the board. That's because you're putting too much force into it. It's not hammer a mole, just whack them. But then you have to lift it up right away and move all the way to the other corner. Ah! She got one. And miss the following two. The moles give up on her and disappear. No fair. 17 out of 50. I guess that's a bit better. Mm. One more time. This is going to be a long day. I tend to be wrong about a lot of things, but if there's one thing I know, it's that Ren has very little stamina for physical activity. <sighs> I was putting my wallet on the line back there, but she got tired after four games. Shame she never scored higher than 25. <sighs> you sound tired. I haven't worked this hard since... Oh. I haven't worked this hard since physical education in elementary school. P.E. Gym. Whatever you want to call it. <laughs> er... Uh, don't you have P.E. in the first year of high school, too? Technically, yes, but, well, you know. I don't know, and I'm not sure if I want to know. You know, this was supposed to be a treat for you, but I get the feeling I'm not doing a very good job. It's okay. All that matters is that I'm with you, right? Still, I have to find a way to outdo that guy who stood you up. It's my duty as a brother. He, he didn't. I mean, wait, we already went through this. Ouch. Anyway, we can't sit around here forever. I'll carry your coat if I have to. You're already carrying my coat. Well, this time I'll do it willingly. Really? It's fine, just forget about it. Why don't we go look at some clothes or something? <laughs> eh, clothes are a waste of money. And it's not like I'll find what I want here anyway. Wait, you mean you were actually planning on seeking out and purchasing an article of clothing in your own time and with your own money? Ouch! It's not for school or for a guy or anything like that. It's... It's for cosplay? You know me so well. Yay. <laughs> a pair of arms wrap themselves around mine. You, 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 you can let, 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 let go now, now. Wow, are you stuttering? Did I make you stutter? 
I haven't made you stutter in years. Since, since, since when was this a game? You did it again! Alright, now I'm never letting go! Uh, <laughs> Spoopy, where are you? Grumpy, where are you when I need the... When I need reassurance of my life? Fine, fine, you'll get bored when I stop reacting. Aww. Aww. Seriously, though. Thanks, Mark. I grabbed the still grinning Rin by the armpits and lift her off of me. Come on, the evening isn't over yet. R right. Oh. Ah, so sweet. <laughs> uh, in a good way, I assume. I don't think it's possible for something to be sweet in a bad way. I silently agree. It's hard to deny the delicious delicacies of ice cream and fruit. Not that I could bring myself to order something like that. You know, too girly. I ah, fuck that, I'd order it. It looks delicious. Call me a check, I don't care, I'm gonna fucking sip it. Sip it in peace and flip you off as you walk by. And enjoy my delicious strawberry smoothie milkshake ice cream sundae thing. So how about it? Are you feeling better now? She starts to reply and abruptly stops. The spoonful of sugary cream. Creamy sugar? hangs in the air. Yeah, I'm feeling better. I wasn't expecting a serious reply. Are you disappointed that I actually listen to you from time to time? Maybe. After all, it means that I can't pretend to talk seriously on a whim when I'm bored and want to see an amusing reaction. But that's not what you're doing now. Of course not. I catch myself smiling before quickly reverting to my in-character, I'm only here because I have to gaze. Um, thanks. Rin's eyes drift down to the strawberry standing atop the Tower of Edible Heaven. Don't mention it. Although, if there's anything you want to tell me, feel free to say it. Hmm. She scoops up some of the moat of melted ice cream surrounding the center and accidentally slurps it. It was nothing big. I told you, right? A guy in my class saw me playing a fighting game during self-study and asked if I wanted to challenge him in the arcade. The spoon hangs limply in her fingers, grazing the vanilla mountain. And I agreed, of course. I mean, I wasn't sure how I was supposed to go somewhere alone with a guy, but I kind of had to agree. And then... Her shoes scrape the ground as she kicks her feet back and forth. It's all right. Um, Mark? Am I in lo- Don't worry about it. You're too young for that word. It's a stupid word. Forget the semantics. You want to meet him again, right? Then go do it. There's no rule saying that every emotion needs a proper name. You took me seriously? You called me by my name, I kinda had to. Shoot. That was an accident. I know. That's why I believed you. Rena. Oh god, you're gonna make me cry. You're gonna make me call my brother after this. And be like, yo bro, I love you. Let's all go cuddle and be... all fucking... Be a family, god damn it! But anyways, that's all the time I have for this episode. I want to thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please like, favorite, subscribe, and share this with your friends, your family, your grandma, and your grandpa, because I know he watches this. I've been Mitch, and I will see you all next time. Have a fantastic day. You know, this, this episode kind of does make me want to call my brother and plan shit. <laughs>